Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. The scammies are trying to use Nicki Minaj for some views, okay? Are they begging for her to redeem the award show? And Nicki Minaj was caught sneak dissing Queen Bee, but we're going to get into that later. Um, before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, Gold Derby names Pink Friday 2 as one of the albums likely to receive a scammy nomination for Best Rap Album. The record is easily one of the biggest hits of the season. Gold Derby also said um, Nicki Minaj is overdue for a scammy. She hasn't won in any category and says although Pink Friday 2 will likely be tarnished by a couple of Nicki Minaj's scandals from the past few years. The record is easily one of the biggest hits of the season, okay? So that's what they said. They said she has been nominated plenty of times before, enough to make it clear the voters dislike her, okay? A.K.A. Camel Face, you know, Messy Lee is also on the scammy committee. If you don't know who Messy Lee is, that's Jason Lee. Um... The scammy producer don't really mess with Nicki Minaj. So, you know, there's definitely a few people over there that don't really mess with Nicki. Um, they said, perhaps with the release of Pink Friday 3, which is reportedly coming soon, Minaj can generate a lot more hype in order to finally take the golden gramophone. Okay, so let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you think that Nicki Minaj will get nominated? For the 2025 scammies or will Camel Face sabotage her like he has the past few years, okay? Now, I will say this. Nicki Minaj definitely deserves a nomination, but even in that category, I think they're probably still going to give it to somebody else, okay? Just like last year, not last year, this year. They played in Nicki Minaj's face. She was nominated for Barbie World, remember? They said Barbie World had won for, I think, Best Rap Performance, and it didn't, and they gave it to Killer Mike, okay? And so that lets me know that, you know, they just want to use Nicki Minaj for views. They know that the Barb's, not all of them, but some of the Barb's are going to tune in to see if Nicki Minaj wins, if she gets nominated, and then... They are not going to let her win. They did that earlier this year. They nominated her, played in her face, and she never won. Now, Nicki Minaj sent Eve the Rapper a nice little message on Twitter, and Eve responded. Now, Nicki Minaj said, Dear Eve, the various things you've shared recently are groundbreaking for many reasons. First, thank you. The level of grace, the level of emotional and spiritual maturity it takes to be this vulnerable and transparent is a sign of true peace, happiness, and fulfillment and mastery of self. Self-reflection at its height. I always say that I think accountability is the sexiest trait a person can have. I was one of the kids in NY watching Rough Riders on TV I definitely remember how when you took the game by storm, that there were some people who couldn't hide their insecurities. Now, is that shade to little Kim Nikki? Because I remember Eve and little Kim beefing. And I feel like that was low key a jab at little Kim. Now, um, Nikki Minaj said, even though it's swept under the rug now, I remember that you handled it with grace and also a big sprinkle of unapologetic talent and charisma. You swore and swore classic music with the illest team to the big screen and made it look easy too. Nikki says she was nervous coming to the movie set every day. You looked like a pro. I admire that so much. Thank you for trying to not do me. What was done to you? Another little Kim jab, okay? Because Lil' Kim and Eve were beefing back in the day. She said, women feel so much pressure to compete. It's a shame because we usually have so much in common and could really benefit from one another just as human beings. We all share so many of the same experiences as artists 
wives, moms, ups and downs, anxiety, etc. I remember telling a friend of mine that I didn't think you liked me for our first day on set together, but to know something crazy, I knew that you could tell deep down inside that I really liked you, so you went easy on me. Love the way the movie turned out. Blessings to you and your beautiful family. Congratulations to your new book as well. And all your many accomplishments in the hip-hop and film and TV. P.S. You still look so pretty. And Eve do look good for being 45, 46. She looks very good. You would never be able to tell that she used to do drugs. So she do look very good. Nikki did not lie about that. Now, Eve responded and said, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. I have nothing but respect. And I'm so proud of you to have seen you grow from strength to strength over the years as an artist. Mom, and always stay true to yourself. Lord knows it's not easy for us, y'all. Thank you for all your kind words and blessings to you and your family. It goes without saying the feeling is mutual. So that's what Eve said. So let me know how y'all feel about that. I thought it was a nice gesture for Nicki Minaj to, you know, compliment and give props to Eve. I feel like Eve does get a little bit overlooked in female rap. Now, moving on from that, Doja Cat becomes the first female rapper to surpass 3.5 billion streams on Payola in 2024. Congratulations to Doja Cat. I don't know how she's doing it because I'm not really listening to Doja Cat like that right now. And I'm a big Doja Cat fan. Okay, but I'm not really checking for Doja Cat musically because Scarlett was trash. Planet Her um, was fire, but... You know, it's an older album. I mean, that came out like four years ago. So ain't nobody checking for Planet Her either. At least I'm not. Moving on from that, Cardi B's payola has gotten renewed. So it has been reported that Cardi B's Invasions of the Facelift is currently out streaming Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2. According to Payola Fi, Invasions of the Facelift is doing 1.1 million streams. Okay, and Pink Friday 2 is doing 1 million streams. Okay, 1 um, million and 83,000 streams. Okay, that's what has been reported. It looks like even though Titanic is in debt, you know, Cardi B's payola package has been renewed. Okay, because I definitely just don't believe that people are still streaming Invasions of the Facelift. I don't believe that. Okay, Um, because... How are you still streaming that, but, like, when she put out new music, it flops? It don't make sense. She put out, like, seven collaborations this year. Y'all did not buy any of them, but y'all still listen to Invasions of the Facelift. Do you really think that I believe that? Come on now. Stop. So, clearly, she's getting payola. Congratulations. Um, She's definitely going to need it for the next album if she don't want to do $50,000 first week. So I think them rolling out the payola now makes sense because once she gets the payola for her album, people are going to think that the numbers are organic. So this is a chess move. Now, moving on to Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion documentary is coming soon. Okay, now if you guys remember, I think it was like two years ago. Megan started working on her documentary. I don't know what the holdup has been because since the Tory Lanez case, her life hasn't really been that interesting. But maybe she's filming her first world tour. You know, that possibly will be in the documentary. Um, You know, she's going to talk about beefing inside the industry, you know, beefing with Nicki Minaj and Drake. Um, two of the biggest artists in the world, um, you know, that's going to be in the documentary, her relationship with Queen B, that's going to be in the documentary. Let me know if you guys are going to tune in and watch. Okay. Now me personally, I probably won't watch Megan Thee Stallion's documentary. No shade. Um, not my cup of tea. Now the beehive is dragging Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj allegedly threw shade at Queen B. So Nicki Minaj tweeted and deleted robot on timing. Okay. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Why she had to call her a robot? 
Now, the reason why she did this is because Queen Bee posted a series of new photos on Instagram. A lot of people feel like she posted new photos to distract the public from what's going on with Camel Toe. Okay? Now, my whole thing is, one, Queen Bee looks good. She looks fire. She looks very snatched in these photos. Okay? Queen Bee deserves her tens. But Nikki, why you had to call her a robot? She is not a robot. She has been MK Ultra. Okay? There's a difference, you know? She might have robotic ways from being MK Ultra. Okay? Which is a way the industry reprograms artists. Okay? Is is a form of mind control. So, you know, Camel Face is in control of Queen Bee. So he have her MK Ultra up. But there's that, okay? And so fans are coming for Nicki Minaj's neck. A fan said, you know to delete at Nicki Minaj that fentanyl surely doesn't have you thinking you bold enough to publicly come from Queen B. Robot on timing? Rather that than a lady volunteering a R-words human blow-up doll even have the disproportionate body parts to match. I don't even know what that means. I'm very confused about this tweet. Then another fan said that lady deleted that tweet because she knows she cannot play with Queen Bee. Queen Bee is not one of them. Interesting. So let me know how y'all feel about it. Listen, I find it funny that fans are thinking just because she said I robot. Um, that she was talking about Queen Bee. Like, that means that you guys think that Queen Bee is robotic. Which she is. Because she's been MK ultra up. But, at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't know if it would be smart for Nicki Minaj to be for Queen Bee. Okay? Because just like Camel fans like to sabotage, Queen Bee like to sabotage too. As Walmart Yonce, as Carrie Hilson, she ended Carrie Hilson's career Easily. I don't think she'll be able to do that with Nicki Minaj. But she's had a hand in sabotaging a few different artists. Carrie, Sierra, A. Marie, Rihanna's. How do you think Rihanna's anti-album got leaked? Okay, and then a week later, Formation came out. So, Queen B knows how to sabotage. Okay? Um, so, I don't know if it would be smart to beef with Queen B. Because Queen B don't do the Twitter she don't do social media. She just be making phone calls behind the scenes. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Now, Nikki has since denied throwing shade at Queen B, But unfortunately, the fans do not believe her. And they think that she is backtracking um, because of all the backlash that she was receiving. Now, moving on from that, Scratch Off is now the most streamed. Song by a female rapper on Payola Fire History. Seven with John Cook surpasses Doja Cat's Kiss Me More with SZA. This don't really count because one, Scratch Off don't sell. Nobody's streaming her music. And she not surpassing Doja Cat in anything except in bodies. Okay, she might got more bodies than Doja Cat, but she not surpassing her when it comes to her career. That song with John Cook is not even her song that's one and it was because of the bts fans that's why it's doing so well when it comes to streams doja cat don't need bts to chart um scratch off does that's why she has to pay people to do challenges so she can chart on payola board why do you think she's doing the brokey challenge because it's not charting Okay, y'all can say the song is fire all you want. And it's not a bad song, but it's not charting on the Hot 100. Nobody cares about that record. So, Scratch Off needs to sit the F down. Now, Big Sean confirms my T that him and Nicki got a record coming out. Me and Alchemist are still cooking. Me, uh, You know, songs that I had that, uh, you know, me and Nikki were working on a song that I still want to finish. Um. Now, let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, if it was 2013, I might care about a Big Sean and Nicki Minaj collaboration. But, you know, I don't really care for Big Sean like that. But I will say, his new song called Yes, okay, is fire. I've been listening to that song nonstop. But the 
album as a whole was mid. His recent album was kind of mid. But I will say that that song, that single he put out called Yes, That's Fire. And I just feel like people don't care about Big Sean anymore. Like, you know, of course, him and Nicki could really make some fire together. They are both very much talented. But Big Sean has been losing a lot of relevancy the last few years. Okay, so I just don't feel like people really care about Big Sean like that. I don't know if Nicki could really save his career. I think he needs a hit song. Okay, and even though um, Nicki's hot right now, I don't really think she can save Big Sean. I think Big Sean's going to flop no matter who he collaborate with. And also his music has slightly changed. You know, it's not just about the charts, but I just feel like musically... He's on the decline. His music don't hit like he used to. Now, Weak Mill is receiving Donkey of the Day. The Loose Booty Rapper said, I want to hire an investigative team, 100K cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill's name to Diddy's case. I want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek Anything to do with Buddy. Something not right. The streets know what's up with me. That's not the case. We talking about business side. Somebody powering these bad campaigns with Meek Mill. Again, I got 100K for a thorough investigation of who is powering how exactly my name is connected to this. Like what? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this man is slow. Wasn't Meek partying with Diddy? Bunny hopping for the billionaires? Rapping and singing with Diddy at several parties? Getting bent over? Like there's not pictures all over the internet? Are you dumb? I mean, now you talking about, oh, why is my name connected to Diddy? You literally was hanging out with Diddy for years. At all of his freak-off parties, Meek, the pictures are out, okay? We've seen them. We heard the alleged tape where you were getting pounded, okay? No shade. I mean, come on, Meek. You can come out the closet. You don't got to pretend anymore. The damage is done. Your career is over anyway, okay? So you might as well just come out of the closet and maybe the gay community will accept you, but... Me, don't be trying to pretend like you won't have no relationship to Diddy. Like, come on now. The pictures are out. I mean, come on. Does he really think we that slow? I mean, come on. You can't possibly think that we're that dumb. The pictures are everywhere. You was getting bent over. And now you're embarrassed. It's okay. Why don't you go get another cell right next to Diddy and y'all could be bottom bussies together? Okay, trust me, if you go to jail, you won't be missed this time around. Okay, you went to jail before, like in the height of your career, your career is dead and gone now. So if you go to jail now, you won't be missed. Now, moving on to Azalea Stinks, of course, she has to put her two cents in the Nicki Minaj, Camato, and Queen B drama. Okay, um, she responded to a fan and said, Camo has always thought Nikki was a cheap chicken head because she is. She's a mother in her 40s acting like a thirsty groupie while he continues to pay her dust. It's super embarrassing. I have no clue why she thinks all this loud mouth yakky yak is all making her look like some sort of hero. If I were her, I'd be really careful effing with Desiree. Now, Desiree, she is the snitch at Devil Nation, okay? She, I think she's like the CEO. Um, you know, Desiree don't play around. You know, she do be working for the feds. Now, Azalea Sting said, like, Camel Toe could literally sue her into absolute poverty if he wanted to go direct. But he'll never bless her with the gift of even acknowledging that she exists because he thinks that she is ghetto trash. Okay, so that's what Azalea Stinks said on Twitter. You know how she has to give her 
Two Cents. Well, Nicki Minaj could sue too, okay? Technically, they could sue each other. She could sue for the title deal, okay? Of, you know, them trying to only give her a million after she was originally promised 8.9 or $9 million. And, you know, how they lied and said there there was no money and they gave her a million dollars and they try to force her to take the money in 24 hours. She could sue for that too, you know? And then, you know, if he feels like Nicki Minaj has defamed his character, he could sue Nicki Minaj. I don't know if it would go that far though. But, you know, Camel Tone ain't the only person that has a case. Now, if you're wondering why she's saying that Camel Toe could sue Nicki Minaj is because of when she brought up Aaliyah and Foxy Brown and accused Camel Toe of doing similar things to Diddy, which he probably has. Okay, let's just be 100%, 1,000. But you need evidence to prove that in court. And unfortunately, Foxy has publicly denied everything, you know, despite, you know, um, people saying otherwise behind the scenes. So it is what it is. Now, moving on to J. Cole. So it has been reported that J. Cole's fall off is coming and will shock a lot of people, according to Trey The Truth. Um, Tay the Truth said his album is coming, and when it does, it's probably going to shock a lot of people. So remember when I tell y'all, a lot of people form opinions, and they don't fully know the situation. I wonder what that means. Is J. Cole going to come back swinging and dissing people? Because he basically is Champagne Thickham's op. He worked with ASAP, he worked with Future, and Metro since the beef. Since Kung Fu Kenny and Champagne Thickham's been beefing, he has Works with all the Champagne Thickums ops. So I wonder if he going to be dissing Champagne Thickums in his album. Okay? Because allegedly they have fallen out. So it's going to be very interesting. But the problem with J. Cole is you'll never be taken seriously as a battle rapper. Or when you diss people because you apologize and removed your diss within 48 hours after you came out and dissed Kung Fu Kenny. Okay, because you knew he was coming out swinging. So you're not tough and you have been really removed from the big three. You're not considered part of the big three anymore. So, you know, if I was you, I would sit this one out. Okay, we don't want to hear you diss nobody on no records because you come out and apologize. You're not really about that life. So anyway... Um, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And I hope you have a great day.